Hello friends in this video we are going to learn how to create simple pagination by using Ajax with query, PHP and MySQL without refreshing page. In the web application, pagination is a very important part where huge numbers of records are listed from the database. In that case, Ajax query pagination is a preferable way because it will help to improve the speed of data load of your website. This video tutorial will show how can you implement the Ajax pagination in PHP using jQuery and MySQL. I have developed the simple and powerful script to create pagination with jQuery, Ajax, PHP, and MySQL. This is my database with name testing. In this database I have one table student with three column like student ed, student name and student phone. I have already inserted 16 data into this table. Now I want to show this data on web page with simple Ajax pagination. By using PHP, I will display the student data from the MySQL database with the pagination links. Through this pagination links, you can get the database records except the displayed records. jQuery and Ajax will help to get the records from the database depending on pagination links without reloading the page. This is my index.php web page on which I will display student data in Ajax pagination. On this page I have used JavaScript library jQuery for calling Ajax function. On this page first I have write one division tag with attribute like it is equal to pagination data. Between this tag I will display student data with pagination which data get from one pagination.php page by calling Ajax function. First I have moved to write some jQuery code to call pagination.php page by using jQuery with Ajax. For this first I have make on function with low data with one parameter page. In this function I have will write Ajax function code. For this I have write Ajax function with first parameter like URL set to pagination.php. Here URL is a string containing the URL to which the request is sent. It will send request to this pagination.php page. Second I have write method with post method. Here method is the HTTP method to use for the request. Here I have used post method. Third is data. Here we can set which data you want to send to server and it will be converted into a query string. Here I want to send page data to the server which get from load data function parameter like page. And last is the success callback function. This is a function to be called if the request succeeds. Here if the data get from pagination.php page then this function will be called and all data which it will get from pagination.php page will store into this function data parameter. From pagination.php page we can get the student table data with pagination link and this store into this data parameter. Now I want to display data between this division tag with the like pagination data. So for this I have write dollar with selector like pagination data dot html method with data. This way we can display whichever student data with pagination link into this division tag with it pagination data. Now I have moved to write PHP code into pagination.php. In this page will fetch student data from table and display into table format and also make pagination link also. First I have make database connection. For database connection first I have defined one variable connect is equal to miscly connection function with parameter host is equal to localhost. Username is equal to root password is equal to blank and database name is equal to testing database. First in pagination how many records should be display on per page. For this I have defined one variable record per page is equal to 5. That means I want to display only 5 records on single page and other records will display on next page. 
Now I have defined one new variable page is equal to blank. In this variable I will store current page number and it will be anything like 1, 2, 3, etc. After this I have write one more variable with name like output is equal to blank. In this variable I will store data get of student which we have get from table in HTML format and in this I will also store pagination link also and this data will display call back to index.php page by Ajax. After this I want to check in URL there is page variable is present or not. For this I have write of statement with condition. In condition I have used set function with parameter dollar post page data then page variable is equal to dollar post page data. This page variable will be get from Ajax function which have called from index.php page. But suppose if there is no page value get from Ajax called then page variable value will be equal to 1. Now friends I have defined one new variable start from is equal to page variable minus 1 into record per page variable which I have defined above. It will be used into select query and in that select query it will define from which number to start selecting of data from table. After this I want to make select SQL query for fetching data from table student for this I have defined one new variable query is equal to select start from table student order by student it in descending order limit dollar start from variable comma dollar record per page variable. Now I have want to execute this query and store records in one variable. For this I have defined one variable result is equal to miscly query function with two parameter. First is database connection string is equal to connect and SQL query is equal to query. This way we can execute select query and result store into result variable. Before fetch all data first I have defined table with two column name and phone. For this I have write output variable is equal to table with one row and two table column name like name and phone. Now friends I have used while loop for fetching all data from database. In while loop I have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with parameter my SQL query result which I have store into result variable. This function will convert my SQL query result into associative array and store into row variable. Now I simply print data like student name and student phone onto table. For this first I have write output variable with string concatenation operator equal to and I have write open and close table row and between this I have write to open and close table data. For student name I have write dollar row with table column name like student name and for student phone I have write dollar row with table column name like student phone. After this I want to close the table tag. For this I have write output variable is equal to close table tag and after this I have write HTML break tag and then after I have write division tag with a line is equal to center. This we can fetch data from student table and store into this output variable in HTML form. Now I have moved to write PHP code for pagination link. For this first I have defined one variable page query is equal to select start from table student to order by student in descending order. After this I want to execute this query and store result. For this I have defined one new variable page result is equal to miscly query function with two parameter one is database connection string and second is SQL query. After this I want to get total number of records in table. For this I have defined one variable total records is equal to miscly num rows function with parameter like my SQL query result which I have store into page result result variable. Friends after getting total number of records, now I want to get total number of pages. For this I have defined one variable total pages is equal to seal function. 
this function will round the number up to the nearest integer. In this function I have write total records variable divide by record per page variable. With the help of this code we can get total pages. Now friends I want to display all pages with its respective link to particular page. For this I have used for loop. So I have write for with open and close bracket and between bracket I have write dollar i is equal to one dollar i less than equal to total pages and dollar i plus plus. Between for loop I want to print pages number. For this I have again write output variable is equal to open span tag with class name is equal to pagination link. I will use this class name as a selector in query code. I want to format this tag so for this I have write style attribute is equal to cursor property set to pointer padding style property set to 6 pixel and set border with border with 1 pixel with border style solid and set border color to blank. After this I have write attribute it is equal to dollar i and in span text I have also write this dollar i which is dynamic value get from for loop and close span tag. This way we can create pagination page link and store into this output variable. Now I have write simple echo statement and write output variable in which I have store all student data into HTML form and this will display at the index.php page. On this index.php page first I want to call this load data function. So for this I have write load data function, by writing this function whenever page will load this function will call and it will fetch data from student table by using Ajax and it will display on this page. Now I have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends when you have click on page number table data not changed, for change data we have to write query code on when user click on page number then at that time table data should be changed according to page number on which he clicked. So for this I have wrote dollar with selector like document with on method and in this method I have write click event selector pagination link which is class name of span tag and one function. Here I have used on method this is because with help of this method we can work with more than one event. In this function I have write one page variable is equal to dollar this selector with attribute method and in this I have write it attribute. In this code when use click on this whichever page number we can get the aid of that span tag by using this selector and store into this page variable. Now I have simply called load data function and in parameter of this function I have passed this page variable value. Suppose page variable value is equal to 3 then this 3 value will be passed into this low data function and by this function we can pass this value to pagination.php page by Ajax and from pagination.php page will return back data regarding the page 3 value and it will display on web page without page refresh.
So friends this is my simple video tutorial on how to create simple pagination from data without refreshing a page by using Ajax which query, PHP and MySQL. If you have any question regarding this video tutorial you can comment on this video under comment box, we will definitely answer your query. If you like this video please share this video with your friends or even you can share on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.